Cetrimonium bromide. Let's see if I can spell that right. Cetrimonium bromide. So that's C E T R I monium <laughs> bromide. Cetrimonium bromide is largely found in your um, facial cleansers, in other cosmetics, in um, masks. Um, but a lot of times, and most of the time, you'll see it in conditioners. And it's it was a little different for me to see it in a conditioner because the primary, um, one of the main functions of it is as an antiseptic. And so, I mean, to see it in a mask or a cleanser to me made a lot of sense, but to see it in a conditioner didn't necessarily. But um, it has some other major um, benefits to it. Um, smooth the cuticles and smooth the hair down so that it's not, you know, you don't have those flyaways as much. So it also helps to kind of give it that smooth shine. Um, but it does not have the same amount of slip. So if tangling is your issue, um, that's probably not the main ingredient that you want to go for. It's not really going to hurt too much. But sedial alcohol, um, that we, which we talked about before, has a lot of slip to it. So that's something that's, you know, going to be a fatty, emulsifying, lubricating um, component to any conditioner. This one is really good to just kind of help smooth the, the hair down, but it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have the same amount of slip. In it. it helps to cleanse skin and hair in order to prevent odor and by inhibiting the growth of microorganisms by helping water to be mixed with oil and dirt so it can be rinsed away. So in layman's terms, basically, it just helps to break up like those microorganisms and those little bits of dirt that kind of get in the hair and it helps it to rinse it away more cleanly. So that, to me, that helps to explain, you know, why it's an antiseptic and, you know, that, so that's a good thing. So your conditioner is also cleaning your hair as well, but it's also, you know, providing some, those conditioning benefits. I also learned that it is a surfactant. And, um, I mean, that's something to keep in mind as we're going forward with these tutorials, but surfactants basically mean it's part water soluble, part oil soluble so it helps those two things to mix you know oil and water don't usually get along um but the surfactants help them to kind of emulsify more and um provide a, a cleaner distribution more even distribution to the hair so cetrimonium bromide works as a surfactant it is an antiseptic and it is an anti-static. So all really positive things. Um, usually it's about one to 10% of your conditioner or whatever product it is you're using. Like those are usually the levels that you'll see in the, um, in the product. So it'll probably be one of those top five products up there, but it's definitely something to be aware of and to know. Um, it can have some, some side effects, not, um, it hasn't been considered too harmful, but uh, like anything in in excess, you don't want to use it in excess. But, you know, just figuring out what's good for your hair, what's going to be good for you, helps you to be empowered. So, I hope that that was helpful. And if you have any questions or any ingredients you would like me to look into, please write me back.